Hi, welcome to Spirit Calling Kids. I'm Michael Wheeler, author of the Spirit Calling Devotionals and the Proud Papa series of children's books. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and share them with a friend. Now, please join us as we sing the Spirit Calling song. Sometimes our souls can become dry as bones. I felt the powerful presence of the Lord, and His Spirit took me and set me down in a valley where the ground was covered with stones. Ezekiel 37 1. Our class went on a field trip yesterday. We went to a large field outside of town where some archaeologists were digging for dinosaur bones. The bones that they found may be millions of years old. I don't know how they figured out how old something is, but that was long ago. I'm kinda glad the dinosaurs aren't around anymore. They were bigger than my house and would probably take up a lot of room. They might even eat all the trees in our yard. It's so sad that all we have to remember the dinosaurs by is their dry old bones. I wonder if baby dinosaurs would make good pets. Having a tetradactyl as a pet would be fun, so I could fly at the school every day. I could tie it up to the swings in the playground and fly at home after school. I wonder if Tom has ever seen dinosaur bones. Let's visit Tom now. Sometimes our souls can become dry as bones. I felt the powerful presence of the Lord, and His Spirit took me and set me down in a valley where the ground was covered with stones. Ezekiel 37 1. Our class went on a field trip yesterday. We went to a large field outside of town where some archaeologists were digging for dinosaur bones. The bones that they found may be millions of years old. I don't know how they figured out how old something is, but that was long ago. I'm kinda glad the dinosaurs aren't around anymore. They were bigger than my house and would probably take up a lot of room. They might even eat all the trees in our yard. It's so sad that all we have to remember the dinosaurs by is their dry old bones. I wonder if baby dinosaurs would make good pets. Having a tetradactyl as a pet would be fun, so I could fly at the school every day. I could tie it up to the swings in the playground and fly at home after school. I wonder if Tom has ever seen dinosaur bones. Let's visit Tom now. Do you ever get thirsty, my child? Everyone gets thirsty at times, don't they? What do you drink when you get thirsty to quench your thirst? Some people drink sports drinks to quench their thirst quickly. Other people drink lemonade or tea when they are thirsty. Water is an excellent way to quench your thirst, my child. Your body is made up mostly of water, so replacing the water you lose during the day or after exercising is very important. You will feel better immediately after replacing the water you lost from your body. What do you do when you are spiritually thirsty? How do you replenish your spirit, my child? Being busy all day and neglecting your soul can leave you with a dry spirit, like dry, dust dinosaur bones. Do you remember what a prophet is, my child? That's right. A prophet is someone I send to speak for me. Many years before Jesus was born, my prophet Ezekiel came to tell my children that they were like dry bones. They were spiritually dry because they were not caring for themselves and renewing their souls regularly. To stay spiritually vital, you must do the things that will renew your soul. Reading the Bible is a great way to refresh your spirit when you feel run down. Prayer will always give you a quick pick-me-up and make you feel better immediately. Going to worship, listening to sermons, and singing hymns are also excellent ways of renewing yourself. Take care of your soul, and you will never be spiritually thirsty again, my child. I blessed you with a body. 
always care for it. I blessed you with a spirit. Always give it spiritual water. Never be spiritually thirsty. Thank you for joining us today. I pray that you had a good time, learned a lot and were blessed by your time with us. Now let's join Amelia, Quinn, Addy and Alice as they sing our blessings. And always remember, there is nothing closer to you than the Spirit of God.